Here we have a 2003 Ford Focus ZTEC five door hatchback in silver, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth you're looking at around two to three millimetres in the centre of the tyre there. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see some minor little curbing around the outside edge. Again, pretty light to be fair, nothing too heavy, no big chunks out the alloy or anything. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, body bit looks fairly clean, there's one or two small dinks, no real signs of any dents. And that I can see from this angle. So again, the body works looking nice for its age. Around the offside front arch, just a couple of light scratches, a couple of little nicks in the paintwork, very minor. Driver's mirror, got a bit of a yellow paint there, had a bit of a scuff by the looks of things. Driver's door itself, again, some light body work scratches, a couple of touchings down the door edge there of the driver's door. But apart from that, nothing, nothing too bad at all. A little bit of wearing to both the sills, nothing to report on the roof. Rear passenger door, Again, looking very nice, um, nothing at all to report. Door edge, again, that's clean. Looks like it's had a bit of paint on the rear door, but again, good job. Rear arch, rear quarter. See the, the rear bumper's slightly out of line there. Might just need new clips. You can see we've got a bit of a, a crease in the bottom of the rear arch there, as well as some deep scratches as well. Uh, cracking of the paint slightly there also. I uh, had a bit of paint on the rear bumper previously, you can see that, again that's a good job though. And the rear tyre, you've got a good 3-4mm to four millimeters of tread there to be fair. And the rear alloy, again some paint is starting to come off around the inside of the alloy, no real sign of any heavy curbing or scuff marks though. And moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. As you can see on the rear bumper down here, we've got some heavy scratches to the toe and eye cover. Again, some scratches there as well. Yeah, I've got rear parking sensors though, which is a nice feature. Some scratches on the back here, I'll just need a polish. Near side rear quarter looks completely fine. And the boot itself, again, in nice condition. There's a bit of a scratch going down the boot itself along here. And it does get a little bit heavy. I can get my nail into some of that as well. So just be wary of that. Underneath the boot tray, you've got your spare wheel in there. Lovely clean condition inside the boot as well. You've got your parcel shelf, so that's all in good order. Looking at your near side rear tyre, there's easily a good 3 to 4 millimetres of tread there also. And looking on at your rear alloy, again, some paint is coming off around the spokes, a couple of scratches, no real sign of any heavy curbing or scuff marks there either. And then taking a look down the near side of the car. Down the body, one or two light dinks, no real sign of any dents. A bit of rust starting to appear around the rear arch there, and then the inside of the arch, as you can see, there is some rust appearing there. Rear passenger door, you've got quite a few scratches on here, so good mop and polish needed. A couple of stone chips towards the bottom of the door. Again, body with scratches on the doors. Bit of rust starting to appear, as you can see, on this sill there. Or the side skirt. Again, some scratches on the mirror, no damage really. Front arch, that looks fine. And again, you've got about 2mm on the front tyre. Front alloy, again, some paint coming off on the inside of the spokes, just age-related marks. No curbing or scuffs. We run to the front of the vehicle. You've got a bit of a press mark on the front bumper there, as you can see, it is raised on the front bumper. Stone chips on the front bonnet, as well as a couple of deep scratches there, as you can see on the bonnet. No real signs of any heavy damage at all there though. So that's the exterior of the car, so take a look at the interior. Interior wise is lovely, full cloth, but it is absolutely immaculate. No damage whatsoever there, as you can see, it's looking really well for its age. Door panels are fine, the back of the seats, there's no damage at all there either. As you can see, all the carpets and mats are spotless. That's all good. Driver's seat in a lovely condition, no damage at all there. And the front passenger seat's also looking very well. Again, your sense console and dash is all very clean and tidy. Gear stick in nice condition, only a little bit of wearing. And only a slight bit of wearing around the steering wheel, but again, for its age, it's looking really well. Two sets of keys with the vehicle there as well. So there's two keys, one immobilizer, one key. And stepping inside the vehicle itself, getting the car started. Starts first time, no problems at all. Very low mileage, 67,800. Now there is an ABS light appearing there, so do be wary of the ABS light. Apart from that, nothing else is showing. Functionality of everything's working fine. CD radio, again, all working good. Paperwork wise, now service history, there's only one stamp that was done at 66. So the service was done very recently, it's had front brakes done as well. That's the only service we've got with the car. And it's got an MOT till the 22nd of May 2017, so plenty left on the MOT for the car.